Have you ever needed to 3D print something but you don't have your own 3D printer? Well, uh, take a look at this video. There's uh, some great options online um, and you don't even need uh, to leave your home. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to go through to Craft Cloud. Um, I found that they are the the top sources for 3d printing information news and they've got some great blogs on new technologies within 3d printing um, but for the purposes of this video I'm going to take you through the instant quote system so what you need to do then is um, upload a 3d model so I'll uh, find one here uh, now you pick your location I'm in Belgium at the moment, so uh, you can pick uh, the you know, general region, you'll be able to fine tune it later. Uh, your currency in euros, uh, and then you use a measurement in millimeters. So, this is a, a small cat toy uh, ball that I designed a while back. Um, you can select the quantities that you would like to print, you can add more files to it. So let's see what we can get uh, this toy printed in. So you can see here there's many different materials that you can select from. Uh, PLA being the most common. Uh, if you're familiar with 3D printing, um, PLA is uh, the easiest material to print with, so the cost will be the lowest. Um, but you also get nylon, which is not necessary for something like this. That is a more higher strength um, plastic. Uh, resin is uh, good for very detailed um, components, uh, tough resin, strong and detailed uh, if required. And then obviously you can go through to 316 stainless steel, which um, you know, is actually very interesting um, that we can get an object 3D printed in 316 stainless steel and delivered to your house um, with a reasonable price tag. Um, further down, PETG, also fairly common, higher temperature resistance, a bit higher strength than PLA. Um, ABS is good for higher temperatures, um, good impact resistance. Um, perhaps ABS would actually be suited uh, better as a toy, um, as it is not as brittle as, uh, as PLA. So let's uh, take a look um, at ABS, selecting material. Um, now you've got three different options here, you can do sanded, so if it is a part that notoriously would be difficult to print, uh, end up with a lot of support, some burrs on it, um, sanded is pretty good, it's an it will arrive to you sanded, if you need polished and shiny, then uh, there's options for that as well. Um, let's uh, take a look at the infill percentage, so you can raise the infill percentage to 100% to make it a solid part. Uh, most of the time for 3D printing that wouldn't really be necessary. Um, I find that 40% or 20% uh, is pretty good uh, depending on the strength that you need for the purposes of this uh, device. I think we'll give it at 40%. Let's select the finish in terms of colors. You can see there's a wide range of colors. Um, and I don't know if you've noticed already, but there's this sub uh, comment over here, which highlights the amount of offers available. So these are the, the 3D printer uh, suppliers uh, that would be able to deliver this type of part. So as you can see, glow in the dark green is not very common. There's only four suppliers, um, but white is pretty common. There's 43 offers available. They just will um, allow you to a, a more flexible lead time when you select the supplier that you're going to be choosing. Um, so let's uh, select it in white. And as you can see here, Craft Cloud gives you some good recommendations. Uh, best price, the balance of both, and then an absolute quick delivery. So you can see here, um, because I'm based in Europe, there's a supplier in Romania that uh, provides it with the best price. Um, there's a supplier in Lithuania which has a bit of a shorter lead time, 7 to 11 business days, but the price is a bit higher. Um, and then you've got your absolute quickest delivery, 5 to 9 business days from a supplier in Germany. Um, 
and uh, as you can see there the price is uh, almost double of the best price so it, it all depends on uh, the lead time and um, your uh, specific requirements um, as you can see there is not currently a supplier in Belgium that can offer um, my specific selection um, but I mean if you can get it within a week or two uh, that looks pretty good so we can uh, go through the list of suppliers overall and uh, we can pick our suppliers so let's go for the craft cloud recommendation it gives a nice bit uh, a nice mix between lead time and uh, price as you can see there's your preview you actually get the 3d model preview itself um, as you can see this design is a ball within a ball um, and then once it's printed that ball will break free and then you can uh, have a cool little toy for your cat so we can proceed to check out as you can see the shipping price is fairly high for a component like this so to be honest um, it would probably be more useful to print multiple items for something like this um, and then you'll see your shipping price uh, will stay the same because it's such a small item so it really does depend on your on your preference and your um, you know where you're located but uh, it is pretty uh, pretty useful uh, to select multiple units um, in this case you proceed to check out um, so I won't go any further here you can create your own account or even continue as a guest uh, into your details and they will ship it to you once payment has been made if there are any uh, minor modifications that need to be made to your model um, then the uh, supplier themselves will be able to contact you um, and recommend you know this model needs uh, additional supports um, or it needs to be um, scaled up to be able to print it correctly um, there's, there's a, quite a few different um, you know points that could uh, affect the, the end result um, so they'll be able to contact you um, if that's required so it's a, it's a pretty seamless smooth process uh, to make sure that you get the product uh, that you want So that's it for the video. Um, I hope you uh, found it very useful. Um, please, if you have any recommendations or anything that I missed or any other sites that you find are useful for a 3D printing service, uh, please um, drop them down in the comments below. Um, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.